G'day, uh, how are we? In this video, we're gonna do a quick look at like terms. This is just a recap, so it's gonna be really quick. Um, we need to be able to simplify algebraic expressions. And the reason why we simplify them is so that they are easier to read, um, but they follow certain rules. And one of the things that we need to be able to do is identify our like terms so that we can do so. So if we have a look at this takeaway order, I've got some burgers some fries and, um, and a drink. So instead of saying I want two burgers and fries, um, a Coke, three burgers, two fries, and two Cokes, I can take that order and make it easier to remember. And that's what we're doing essentially when we simplify. So if we have a squiz here, here we go, like terms. So they have to be the same variable and the same power. So we don't combine our burgers and fries. I know some people might like to do that actually, but we can't combine them to make like fry burgers or fry drinks or things like that. So it's going to be like two burgers and three burgers all together they make five burgers. So same with our fries, three fries and three drinks. So that's how we write that there. We don't say that there's six drink fries or fry drinks because that's um, they just represent different values. So that's what we're looking for with like terms. So if we have a look here, um, looking at your pairs of like terms. So we just go through and say yes or no. So I'll grab a pen. So 3x and 4x, they are like terms. So we would just go yes. Uh, 3x, 3y, no, because the variable is different. So x and y represent different values in this case. So nope. a, b, a, b, yes. Even though the coefficient, so um, 3 and 7 are different, that's still fine because it's 7a times b and 3a times b here. Um, 7ab and 7b are not like terms because remember you've got to have the same variable. So even though there's both a b here, there needs to be an a here to make them like terms. So that would be a no on that one. Um, e is still the same because CB and BC, remember, you've got commutative law. So BC equals C times, oh, not D, um, C times B. Same as saying like four times five equals five times four. Okay, so that one is a like term. Um, a, B, B, C, nope, because the C and the A are different. G squared, G squared, yes, because they're raised to the same power. Whereas in eight and 8a and 3a squared are not because they're not raised to the same power. So that's how we would go with that. Um, in terms of simplifying, we would then take, well, there's 3a and 5a. So if we write that out, 3a plus 5a equals, I have three apples and you have five apples. We have eight apples altogether. Same thing over here. So with ii, Note that these two are like terms and that this symbol, this operator, belongs with this term. So it's saying 7ab minus 4ab gives us 3ab. So let's write that out um, quickly. 7ab minus 3a minus 4ab equals uh, 3ab minus 3a. I do not do anything with those because a is not the same like term, it's not like term to 3ab. And then with this third one, so writing that out, 2c minus 6 plus 4c minus uh, plus 15. So highlighting the like terms, include your operator in front because then that tells you what you can do with those. And then 6, negative 6 and plus 15. So if we have a go at that, I think I picked the wrong color, but anyway. Uh, 2c plus 4c gives us 6c, and then minus 6 plus 15. So I'm sure you can go the other way, which would give us uh, 9, oh, positive 9, sorry. So is that 6, 6 is 0, and then you would add the remainder, so that's why you would get plus 9. All right, so that is doing like terms, or oh, sorry, using like terms to simplify expressions.